Zhang Shifeng and his wife are packing up. Their worldly goods are in plastic bags and buckets. They were given just a day to move out of their condemned home in East Beijing. To hurry them along, the power was cut. Zhang's job is to repair air conditioners, a typical trade for a migrant worker. Most of his neighbors have already gone. Beijing does not welcome us and is even not allowing us to stay here. I feel so sad about this. I've been working here for more than 10 years. Over the years, factories and warehouses on the city's outskirts have been illegally converted into flats and dormitories and rented to migrant workers. But the conditions are dangerous. Earlier this month, a fire killed 19 people. State TV showed examples of hazardous living conditions. The fire appears to have given the government the excuse it finally needed to clear the area. And so, in sub-zero temperatures, the evictions began last week. Some of those forced out have returned to their hometowns and cities. Others are in temporary accommodation a long way from the capital. The evictions and demolitions provoked an outcry on Chinese social media. In response, local government officials concede their tactics may have been heavy-handed and heartless, but they insist the campaign to clear this area and others will go on. In a move that risks arrest, critics have urged a halt to the campaign. They include a group of 100 intellectuals who've signed a petition against what they call ruthless human rights violations. The authorities' behavior was beyond common sense. In such cold weather, those common lower-class people have been treated in a way that was unreasonable and inhuman. President Xi Jinping has a vision for a vast modern capital befitting a superpower. But that vision may not include the migrant workers who helped to build this skyline. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera, Beijing.